All right, guys, I'm at this uh, little strip center here in Pong Lao and uh, just went to a restaurant, but it's a whole series of shops. But, uh, I just want to show you some of the, uh, um, the view here. Quite nice. I'm going to flip the camera around so you guys can see and not stare at my face here. But here you can see behind me is all the different shops and restaurants. All right, so... Just a quick little walk. This is day six. We were going to go island hopping today, but when we arrived, the tide uh, was out, and so it was real shallow, so it was hard, the boat couldn't go out. He said either at two in the afternoon or early the next morning, so we will go um, tomorrow, and we will go in the morning, and we're going to go do some dolphin watching, some... Um, Maybe some whale sharks and uh, possibly uh, stingrays. We'll, we'll see what uh, what is around. But uh, you can see the tide is is out. Tide's not in right now, so everything's really shallow. But uh, yeah, this this is kind of it right now. You guys can see it. This is Pongwao. Great place for snorkeling, scuba diving, um, caves with swimming, waterfalls, uh, nice roads, good infrastructure in Tegbalar. And the internet's been solid at our hotel. It's always constantly around 50 up and 50 down. And uh, a lot of variety of different uh, Western style accommodations and uh, western style type restaurants. Now if you go outside of Panglao and Tegbalaran, you are gonna get away from those western amenities. You can see some of that around on the beach a little bit, not too much, but um, Behold's definitely in, in, in the top of, uh, on the top of my list for places to live. It's a more of a relaxed, lifestyle there are no really big cities here there's really just a few that maybe get a little congested during uh rush hour when people are going and coming from work but other than that it's a very relaxed island it's even you could tell even from Cebu city to just behold you can tell it's a slower pace of life you really can um, i don't know what we're going to be doing today uh tomorrow I'm gonna get a health certificate, and I had to get an S pass, which is an online pass, uh, to go back to Cebu, which is all very easy. So, no problem there. There's Cebu, I believe. So, just wanted to show you guys this place. Um, really cool. I'm really digging Bahol. This is actually the third time I've been to Bahol. The first time was when I first arrived in the Philippines. I came and I was a total tourist. I just did a one day, rented out a van with a bunch of friends and toured around the island in a one day trip. Literally early in the morning from Cebu to Bahol, toured around and went back that same day to, to Cebu. That's how close it is about an hour and a half away. And uh, the second time I was living out here in Tegbalar, and I was actually in a little city called Dawas. And in, in Dawas, I was here for about two weeks, and then I went over to Dumaguete. I had plans to come back, had plans to tour around and see more than what I really did. And uh, my vlogging was kind of at the infancy of uh, the beginning, you know, the beginning of, and uh, I, I wasn't too established yet. I didn't have good camera equipment. So now I've got much better camera equipment, much better recording devices. So anyway, chill place. Probably would be real fun to come out at nighttime as well. So guys, I'm gonna go uh, sit down, enjoy my meal with my friends, and uh, we'll chat later.